What's going on guys, Tom here, continuing my Rise of Poland Lithuania, and I have decided my next move, and that is definitely going to be to attack Corland after this turn ends, I guess. I figured that I might just as well attack them before Great Britain gets to them so that I have another territory under my control to help strengthen my European power and to hopefully increase my revenue. As you can tell, I already have a fairly strong economy. It's only been like six years. And I have already $23,885 to spend, so I figure I might just as well take Carl and get it done and over with and help strengthen what I have already begun. Will help unify my empire a little bit better. Get a little bit more money in the process. So, what was, where was that? Right here. All right. Oops. Build that. Crimean Kyanta. Ooh, I should attack that. Get a port. Um, what do I have under... Alright. Got the square formation under control right now. So... It's March. Declare war. I am not going to bring my allies. There we go. They took the stupidest route ever. Not really sure what that's all about, but okay. Where's this army? I guess there's a little change in plans. Start marching towards Crimean Kayante because I might be able to attack them after I take out Coraline. At least that's what I'm hoping to do. Yeah, they're fine. I'm gonna start marching this general north. There are currently Construct a third army. And we will end this turn after th this guy gets to where I need him to be. There we go. I like the fact that uh, I have Austria and Prussia in actually pretty good standing with me right now because once you get Prussia and Austria in good standing, they tend to leave you alone and you can basically maneuver yourself around Europe, like into the Ottoman, Sweden and stuff like that pretty nice being able to just freely roam around your empire without really having to uh, protect your home areas. Your empire is basically secure because if friends with Russia, Russia is not going to do anything to you. Prussia and Austria, they might, but chances are they're not going to do anything. Or at least that's what I've learned so far as when I play with uh, Poland, Lithuania. I've never really had a problem with them. I don't know if you guys have ever used them or whatever, but it's fine with me. I mean, I never really have a problem. So let's go towards, uh, where are you going? God, the computer is so stupid sometimes. I don't get it. Wow, I'm going to have to wait another turn to attack Carlin. Lovely. Anyways, we'll start recruitment over here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two. There we go. The army is ready. Let's see what's in here. Um, assassinate. Try an assassination. Probably gonna fail, but that's alright. It's worth a try. Yeah. It's alright, though. Me and Kayante is just sitting here waiting for me to take it. But first I need to march an army down here. 
So, in turn. Oh, I probably should have uh, changed what I was. Uh, oh, what do I want to say? Uh, <laughs> researching. There we go. But uh, actually, I'm pretty sure that I'll be fine because I think I am. What am I doing? Uh, canister shot. So that's not bad at all. No, don't want peace. Sorry. Told you that a million times already. Got a third army getting ready. It's gonna be a green army, but that's alright. My other ones are green too, except for the minor engagement that this army has been in. Now we can attack Coraland. Alright. And I have the advantage. I mean, it's basically just fire locked arm citizenry injury with some militia, so auto resolve. What? Really? Really, game. Apparently, Colin doesn't want to lose. What? I really don't understand how we ended up losing. One, two, three, four, so... Guess I should recruit some more... I never... That was bad. I thought... I had the clear advantage there. But... Apparently I didn't somehow Firelock Armed Citizenry and Militia basically beat me back, what makes no sense. But I really don't want to waste my time fighting when I didn't have to. That's alright. Because I'll come back at them in two turns. I'm not really worried. I'm still don't get how they beat me back. That does not make sense. Well, whatever. Game decided to be like that, so I guess... I'm just gonna keep coming at them. I'm not gonna fight them, because I don't want to fight a bunch of firelock armed citizenry. It's the one thing I do not want to do right now. Oh, I hope I can take Corlin soon, though. That's all I want to do. Take Corlin, and then I can focus on the south. Can't believe, though, that... All of, how does Firelock Armed Citizenry... Space Gala, how, how does that beat me? I mean, I should have been able to go right through their militia, too. I have better technology than them. Let's get some condensed marching. Keeps my guys a little bit more intact with each other. Ooh, European China. Come up here. Yeah, alright. They're healing, so that's good. Construction, let's build a that. Build you there, and also here. Alright. That looks pretty good to me. Oh, no you don't, Corland. Yeah, you are not going for Estonia, Livonia. I'm lucky I caught that. Let's see. get how they have uh, what I'm just gonna do guys is I'm gonna end this part of this episode and I will uh, start the next one with me actually personally fighting this battle because I do not want to lose again 
So please, if I could please get a like, uh, please comment and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.